Hi guys, today I'm going to Phu Quoc, which is the largest island of Vietnam and is known for beautiful beaches and delicious local food. I'm going to show you guys where to stay, what to do, and where to eat fantastic food in Phu Quoc. So don't forget to watch until the end of this video. And I'll also post detailed itinerary on my Instagram and my Facebook, which is Vân Vũ from Vietnam. So I decided to stay at this place called Chill House by the Beach. Exactly. I'll be sleeping next to the calm ocean and hearing relaxing beach waves. How awesome is that? I was very impressed by their hospitality. Plus, I have this buddy to assist me. His name is Get Well. I really like the room because it's so cozy and it makes me feel like home. They even turned on lo-fi music before I arrived and they accommodated me very well with all the essentials such as a broom, mini fridge, water, pots and pens, all the toiletries, and a laundry basket. They even have this cute little mosquito repellent device since there are a lot of mosquitoes in Phu Quoc. I really like it here, especially the view that they have. Check it out. I relaxed a little bit and I was getting hungry, so I met up with my friend to eat some seafood. This place is called 93. This is a restaurant by the beach and only the locals know. I'll put the address below so you guys can check it out. If you come to Phu Quoc, you should definitely try the raw herring salad, which is shredded coconut and sliced raw herring mixed with mince and onions, then grab with fresh vegetables in rice paper and dip in special sauce. It's really yummy. Must try when you come to Phu Quoc. This morning I woke up, it was a bit rainy. The rain allowed me to smell the ocean and the nature. I decided to try a local noodle soup on a rainy day and it's called bún quẩy, which is stir noodles. Bún quẩy contains fresh fish paste, ground shrimp, and squid blanched in boiling water and put in the bowl with rice vermicelli, herbs, and green onions. What's special about this dish is that you have to make your own sauce, which contains salt, sugar, chili, kumquat, and MSG if you want. I personally don't eat MSG, so I didn't put it in there. Also, you gotta bring your own bowl to the table. Self-serving is pretty fun here. This is the first time I tried this noodle soup, so I'm pretty excited for that. I am so excited guys, I have never had this before and I can't wait to try this. I don't know what it tastes like but it seems like it's, it's pretty fishy. Pretty sweet, the broth is definitely fishy as I expected. I really like the onions and the herbs in it. It's so fresh in here like the noodles, uh, squid and the fish and the grouse shrimp. Everything is uh, freshly made which I really, really like, but I just wish the soup, the broth is a little bit more um, flavorful, you know? Uh, so I think it's gonna be better. So I'll rate it seven out of 10. Meow, meow. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Aww. Later, my friend and I decided to go to Fuku Cable Car, which is the longest cable car in the world. Its length is 7,899 meters. These cable car routes connect Fuku and Han Thum Island. The ticket is 450,000 Vietnam Dong for an adult. If you want to see how beautiful Fuku is with the bird eye views, this is a perfect activity for you. So usually this cabin can carry 30 people. But look at this, just us here. Us two. <laughs> Only here alone, and it's so nice.
After that, we went to a very nice coffee shop called Chuan Chuan, and the name means Dragonfly Coffee Shop. They have an open area which I really like, and they have great coffee here. Besides coffee, they also offer some other drinks and food because they are bistro and bar. What I love the most about this coffee shop is that you can see the whole view of Phu Quoc Island. The view here reminds me of San Francisco so much, and it's breathtaking. In the afternoon, we went to Phu Quoc Safari. To be honest, I can't remember the last time I visited zoos because I don't like the idea of taking animals from their homes and prisoning them solely for entertainment purposes. But this safari is different from other zoos because it is the first wildlife conservation park in Vietnam that free the animals and captive humans. My first impression of the zoo was that it is very clean, and surprisingly, I didn't smell the animal waste like other zoos. The animals seemed like they don't have any zoonotic behaviors, such as repetitive pacing, swaying, head bobbing, bar biting, and self harm. They look happy and free in their open areas. However, I saw some electric wires around their habitats, so I asked the staff if the wires would hurt the animals. But they say no. The wire is one-way electric and is about three to five volts, which is enough to startle the animals, and it doesn't hurt them, which is very good. So the safari has two parts: the zoo and the safari. You can see some animals are still being captive, but other animals have open spaces that they allow to interact with humans. The other part is safari, where they conserve wild animals such as lions, bears, rhinos, etc. And we can only see them through the bus window. And I think it is the way it should be: free the animals and captive humans. No one's freedom is taken away here, and we can still learn about each other. The tour guide was super helpful, and I had learned so much about the animals during the tour. Such as black stripes on tigers are just like our fingerprints, and rhinos communicate through honks, sneezes, and their poo. What I love the most about this safari is that it is very environmentally friendly, since they have many signs and activities to use less plastic and protect the environment. Besides that. They have many warning signs to not feed the animals, and many interesting facts about the animal habitats. Overall, I think the safari was very well organized, and I wish there would be more business models like this so wild animals can live in the best conditions. Later, I went to a restaurant where they allow people to feed giraffe. Actually, this is uh, giraffe food, so please don't feed them oily food or uh, meat or anything. This okay, guys. They have this. Um, they actually sell this one. It's thirty thousand v i e t n a m dong, so it's about like one dollar. Uh, yeah, so just buy and eat them. I have vegetarian noodles for lunch. Another spot that you can check out in Phu Quoc is the night market here. They sell a lot of street food, such as grilled seafood, smoky ice cream, fruit cups, sugar cakes, and of course peppers, because Phu Quoc is known for peppers and fish sauce. So yeah, that was my trip, and it's time to go to another destination. Where am I going next? Subscribe to my channel to find out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.